what's up beautiful people listen to Arima. welcome to the channel today we're going to be checking this video and it's titled work hollywood just got owned by sylvester stallion okay this is interesting i'm excited to check this one out here what i've got to see let's check it out sylvester stallone has had enough of woke hollywood and political correctness in the movie industry the evidence shows that a lot of social justice warriors are evidently angry that stallone is taking such a conservative stand and efforts have been made to blacklist him and with things getting heated, Stallone has this to say. After long, hard consideration, your mother and I have decided it's time to move on and leave the state of California permanently, and we're going to go to Florida. So we're going to be talking about just how much Sylvester Stallone is pushing against woke ideology in movies and how this has definitely put a target on his back in more ways than one. <laughs> No pressure here, right? <laughs> no. Everyone loves Stallone, from his famous movies like Rambo, Cliffhanger, and Rocky. Even when he plays a shark, he is amazing. The veteran actor has expressed his love for movies and the impact they've had on culture, not just in America, but all around the world. And Stallone is well aware that movies are no longer what they used to be. Yeah. The landscape has changed and the individuals responsible for the production of movies and shows seem to be adopting ideologies that make absolutely no sense. Mm -hmm. Stallone doesn't like this at the very least. Some rumors even suggest that. Stallone says he doesn't want any woke stuff on his set, with some articles suggesting that Stallone's words were, I won't have a bunch of granola moms and their soy boy husbands telling me what I can and can't do on my set with my crew. The wokeness can get lost. We don't need it. While this hasn't been verified to be true, much of what we see in Stallone's recent projects echo the same sentiment. In the second episode of his hit series, Tulsa King, there's a particular scene that suggests Stallone's true feelings about all the wokeness happening in today's culture. And these pronouns, what the fuck is with the pronouns? He, she, him, they, the, boom. While he may have been playing a scene, the word on the grapevine is Stallone absolutely and 100% agrees with what was said in that scene and stands by it. It seems that due to Stallone's outright stance on having movies be movies and not some vehicle for pandering to some communities, uh -huh. certain individuals are unwilling to work with him. Right now, he is facing serious allegations for his alleged toxic behavior on the set of Tulsa King Season 2. News outlets reported that the casting agency Catretlock resigned from the set because Stallone and the director of an episode from the series had created a toxic environment for people to work in and that he was being abusive to the crew. By referring to some of the actors playing background characters, many of which were on the heavy side of things as ugly tub of lard and fat guy with a cane. Rose Locke, a member of the casting agency, said that she and her team will not be working with Stallone as he had no respect for other people working on set. There seems to be a lot of speculation that suggests that Stallone was being abusive to people on the set of the Paramount series, with rumors going around that he asked the director to surround him with pretty girls. You have to admit, it seems pretty strange that someone like Stallone, who has been in the industry for years, will suddenly start saying things like this when most people who have worked with him have said nothing but positive things about him. And what was your first impression of Mr. Stallone anyway? The guy knows a little bit about everything. I mean, he could tell you like who made the camera, the where is this wood imported from, the desk, he, he just, the things that you don't think he knows, he knows. As you can see, people generally have positive things to say about him. And even in his interviews and shows he does, you can hardly tell of a time when he was abusive to anyone. The director, Craig Zisk, who was working on an episode for the show, has denied the claim. In an interview with TMZ, he alleged that Catretlock had cast the wrong background characters for a bar scene he was shooting, but he instead opted to keep those characters as extras. Zisk said he specifically asked for- You know the problem with Hollywood, they always portray or push some things to our faces. And honestly, it's no longer movie anymore. You don't watch a movie now and no, not find any agenda or he, um, hidden agenda underneath. There is always something portrayed to our faces or added to it. To it. And at this point, lots of people are tired with the work agenda. And it will not be surprising if people ditch cinema entirely or ditch any of the movies entirely. Because we've seen this in the mainstream media. People are tired of it. We see this now in Hollywood and people are getting tired of it because it's now all over like to our faces and i've said it before hollywood are weirdos 
so whatever they push to our faces it is something that they've already discussed and they'll be like let them throw to us and um either ways we're gonna accept it or we're gonna deal with it or like it and they wanted to appeal to some certain group of people without considering the rest of the other people who still are normal it don't make sense but this is interesting let me know what your thoughts are regarding this let's go on zisk said he specifically asked for extras who were young and hip and not in their middle ages Locke made a wrong casting choice but he respected the background artists and everyone had done their job smoothly. It seems that Locke was just trying to start trouble after doing a terrible job. Craig Zisk also felt the need to add that Sly Stallone never said he wanted to be surrounded by pretty girls on set, because for one thing, that's a little disrespectful, and it's not on brand with what we already know about him. And the second reason is, his wife, Jennifer Flavin, is usually on set with him helping out, and have you seen his wife? She's one of the prettiest women ever, so why would he say that? The entire story just makes no sense. It all just seems to be some play to malign the show and get it canceled because of the show's more traditional and a lot more conservative stance. It's probably why the 70s superstar has not officially addressed the issue on any of his social media platforms. He's still focused on promoting the second season of his hit TV show. Sylvester has always been a man of principle and doing things appropriately. I mean, this is the man who taught us how to fight for what's right both inside and outside a boxing ring. I mean, have you forgotten this iconic speech? The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place, and I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let So it makes no sense that someone responsible for such positive content will behave in such a manner. Stallone often refers to himself as one of the last dinosaurs because he comes from an era of male actors and a time when masculinity was defined a lot differently in media. Mm. I'm talking about the time when action heroes were essentially bodybuilders, having muscles mm. bigger than Natalie Portman's head, taking names and kicking, well, you know what I mean. Stallone has also been vocal about the role of masculinity in Hollywood and how it's shifted over time. And he credited yeah. Arnold Schwarzenegger for his role in defining masculinity in the 80s and 90s because we just don't see that in modern Hollywood. Yeah. No, I really respect this guy. I think I think he's brilliant. What yeah. he's done, what he's accomplished, he's had three different careers. Stallone maintains that modern male actors don't have that anymore. The big time actors like your Timothy Chalamet and your Austin Butlers are flamboyant and more in touch with their feminine side. Not to say there's anything wrong with that, but a lot of these kinds of actors are sometimes pushed due to a woke agenda, often to discourage and suppress more traditional forms of masculinity, citing that due to the current state of audiences and with the whole streaming business, many of the movies that worked a couple of decades ago wouldn't have worked today. Mm. The audience, the demographic is different. They're now watching films on their iPhone, so it's not as though the theater has become this habitual shrine it's sad to think that he is right, that a movie like Rocky would actually not be as impactful in today's market as it was in the 70s. Kelvin Sorbo, an actor with whom Stallone is expected to team up for an upcoming project, has similar ideologies. He wrote a paper for Fox News that detailed how he was outed from Hollywood because of his conservative views. He also slammed individuals like Chalamet and Billy Porter, who are fond of wearing skirts. He says Hollywood could use more manly men men who embody yes. the traditional masculinity which is now considered toxic. Uh, movies and television will influence our youth. And look at what's going on in the streets across America today, especially in all the blue states and the blue cities. This is the kind of man whom Stallone is choosing to collaborate with. And it wouldn't be the first time that Stallone has associated with individuals who are unpopular with the people from the more left-leaning and woke community. He was even seen in a meeting with former President Donald Trump when he had some other persons were soliciting for a posthumous pardon for the famous boxing legend Jack Johnson. Than you would think. So I won't even tell him, but if you want to say a word, you can. Sorry. Well, <laughs> no pressure here, right? <laughs> this happened at a time when it seemed like most of the country hated Donald Trump and almost every single media outlet was fixated on trying to make sure Donald was the most hated man in America. Yet Sylvester Stallone had no like honestly with the way things are going most of the movies that we saw in from Hollywood 
some of them wouldn't have existed because Hollywood's agenda is completely different. It's gone pretty woke to the point where people don't enjoy movies anymore. Sometimes when you watch a movie, you always want to know what is the hidden agenda or what is underneath it. It is not making sense at this point. If people start ditching Hollywood, it's not. It will not be shocking. It will not be surprising because they've gone completely woke and with the way things are going lots of the celebrities or lots of the artists who are not buying this or who are not part of it some of them would completely leave it because it is not enjoyable or it is not as fulfilling as it used to be gone are the days i, I remember growing up when you watch a movie you enjoy it because it was innocent unlike now that it is filled with so many many agenda and you don't know which is which anymore like sometimes you just be like can this movie just end or you just stop it halfway and jump on to something different it's not making sense one thing about hollywood is the fact that they don't like people who don't follow or push their agenda it is a problem for them but this is interesting let's go on Trump and almost every single media outlet was fixated on trying to make sure Donald was the most hated man in America. Yet Sylvester Stallone had no qualms about being next to Trump and going as far as thanking him. He was actually very vocal about the fact that Jack Johnson was the inspiration for Apollo Creed and he wanted to see him get his flowers even after death. The veteran actor has also made comments about just how toxic Hollywood is and how there are those in Hollywood who are just selfish and are out to swindle people of their sweat and hard work. This is coming as a result of the fact that he no longer owned the rights to Rocky or anything in the Rocky and Creed universe, which is just wild given the fact that he was the creator of these characters. Erwin Winkler, a former associate and friend of Stallone, was responsible for taking the characters and world away from under him. Stallone has described his actions as reprehensible and nefarious, to the point where he has to ask for permission to use the characters that he created. You can't make peace with someone who's been so, so nefarious, in my, in my opinion, so like... At this point, Rocky said he had hoped that he could have left the rights to these characters as a legacy for his wife and kids. Something for them to use as a memorial was long gone, but now that's never happening. Thanks to Erwin Winkler. When I'm long gone, this is you. Right. This is what I this made for you. This is part of you. my legacy that I... That's never going to happen. Hmm. This is one of the reasons why he wasn't in Creed 3. Yes, it made sense narratively that Adonis Creed steps out of Rocky's shadow, but Stallone had sort of gotten tired of having to jump three hoops and walk on eggshells to use something that should actually belong to him. I guess this is one of the reasons why Stallone is leaving California. According to the actor, he is just tired. Tired of all the craziness going on in the state. Tired of Hollywood and their woke agenda. Tired of the backstabbing and betrayals, the misinformation and all the drama. It's honestly no longer worth it. After long, hard consideration, your mother and I have decided it's time to move on and leave the state of California permanently and we're going to go to Florida. Despite what a lot of people think, Sly is actually not a Republican or far right-leaning individual. Neither is he a fan of the left and all their ideological bullcrap. He tries to stay away from politics because he is not exactly a fan of both sides. And he can see and understand that a lot's going on that meets the eye and he wants no part of it. What? Yep. Is this a joke? It's not a joke at all. Full time. No LA time. Full time. We already have the place. It's a done deal. He and his wife, Jennifer, have decided to move to Florida, a less volatile state that doesn't seem like it's trying to involve its denizens in some far left agenda. They're expected to relocate to their home in Palm Beach with the property estimated to be worth up to $35.38 million, wow. which is a lot of money to spend on a house. This makes Stallone one of the many celebrities that has opted to leave Los Angeles due to its toxic environment. From the high amount of taxes placed on its citizens High standard of living in terms of housing and even local commodities, it's high crime rates and insecurity. It's just unfair to everyone living there. And that's why hundreds of thousands of people are leaving LA. And Sylvester Stallone is one of them. It is, it is Sylvester Stallone. A great documentary about him on Netflix right now. Well, guess what? He's leaving Cali and he's moving to the Sunshine State. 
Even the first lady of Florida, Casey DeSantis, was very glad to hear this and took to Twitter to welcome Stallone, saying, Welcome to the free state of Florida. In addition to respecting and protecting your God-given constitutional right to be free, you can also buy toothpaste without having an armed guard in CVS unlock it for you. <laughs> At the end of it all, Stallone is one of the few persons in Hollywood who is done with the noise and the nonsense of wokeness and political correctness. The betrayals and disrespect that most studios have for filmmaking, all because they want to serve an agenda. Like, exactly, I've said it before, like, people should leave their political differences aside and come together, especially when it comes to Hollywood. They always want to push politics, push the work agenda on something underneath which is not even making sense and people are getting bored and tired of it you can it is honestly tiring at this point but it's not surprising to see that um people are leaving california at this point because of the way things are and moving to other states that are more accepting and that are more beneficial to them but seeing the um hollywood with uh, the agenda and everything hollywood is pushing hmm. It is not uncommon for people to start talking or people to start asking the necessary questions. But let me know what you think about this. I'm sure tons of people have interesting things to share. I really love you to share that and share other useful information you think might be really helpful. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and all of that stuff. And until next time, see you in the next video.